it wasn't all hunky dory. Mm -hmm. There must have been certain artists that maybe tried to get a little bit too familiar. Um, because the reason why they had the pop, the the you know the reason why people said that a lot was because people believe that a lot of these video vixens slept with these. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Even yeah. internationally, it's. it's you know, but first of all, let me just say this: if they are in the same industry and they are frequent and around each other. There is a chance for that to happen, absolutely. Secondly, what you choose to do with your and your career are two different things. Yeah. So try and keep them separate. Just what you eat. Never that. For no, I, I did. I, I do. What I do. So <laughs> who do you air? Is Rosie married now? Yes. Who? You know who? You forgot. Oh, you guys dated, but that was dead. Yeah, that was yeah, dead. It's okay. Everybody uh, knew. I'd forgotten that. No, part. and the industry knew. World did not know. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not bringing the world into the lab. I was just saying the R&B, famous r &B, you don't have to say it. Yeah, we'll leave it like that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and you guys met on the set of this music video? Mm -hmm. Let's do it. We met on the Young Ones uh, video. Oh, the scales? Yeah, that's what we met. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, did the affair start on set? No, of course not. Okay. No, it did not start on set. Okay. It started off set. And yeah. was, I dated him for um, just under a year. So did that help your video vixen career? I, th I think I wouldn't say it helped my. Vi I don't know. To be honest, I don't know. But I, I would say in the industry, and he was not like a. He was a boss in his own right. So that gave me that respect. You know, you can't just be calling boss's girlfriend out like that to be your video anyhow. Like the money has got to be right. The video has got to be right. Yeah. The boss. She, would he go with you to other people's video sets? Uh, no, he's only actually visited me on set once. Okay. And I asked him not to do it again. Wait, was he comfortable seeing you get all sultry? Um, I think he was. He's, he was significantly older than me, so he's more mature. Um, but it, it, it pinched on small, but you didn't have to come down to work this year. Can you know, name this person? No, we cannot name this person. Okay. <laughs> Breezy Baby, <laughs> Pepe Deb. This episode, Brett, aka Busy Baby, the Pepe Deb Gang Queen, is my guest of the day. Benicia, so your career was high flying, renowned uh, video vixen, mm -hmm. amazing model, and Thank just you. when everybody was getting to know the name, you decided to deep. I made a baby. baby. So I mean, did the marriage come first or the baby? Truthfully, the marriage came after the baby. This person was not in the industry. No. And you know, people knew you to date one person in one the person industry. industry. That was yes. Yeah. So where did you meet this guy? Um, that story uh might get some of us into trouble with the police. <laughs> yeah. We'll miss half of it. But I met him. I intended to go meet somebody, mm -hmm. and I met him instead. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So some reports had it back then that he was some sort of like a your supplier. Can you imagine? <laughs> that's crazy. Like your weed supplier. Can you? you no. No. That's I. I went to go and visit a friend. Okay. And um, his friend was at the house. Yeah. And, and I was like, "Who your friend is? Your friend is kind of cute." And he's like, "Can I have your number?" And I was like, "No." I was flying, I was getting on a flight in a few hours, and I was like over a man anyway. But he was nice to look at. So I said, I'll take yours, and I'm going. So I took his, and I left. And then I started chatting him up. Hmm. We got used to being around each other. And then you feel pregnant to him? Yes. Were you dating already? When you yes, pregnant? we were dating and living together. Okay. Which people How don't really you guys know. been dating? Probably just under two years. Oh. Yeah. It's just a long relationship. Yeah. This new situation mm -hmm. clearly did not have as much money as you were used to. Okay. That was money. Yes. So there is money. Let me let me correct that. There okay. is money. Okay. It is not my money. Mm -hmm. So for me it is important I feel good on standing on stones that I built. And there wasn't always uh, a financial flaw that would have suited a growing household. Yes. Yes. In the eye of the press. Yes. A lot of things were moving. Ah! Some abuse was mentioned. Mm hmm. Um, you know, at what point did that start to happen? Um, so I just, uh, this topic. 
Don't worry, girl. Um, this thing of abuse, I believe abuse is not just physical. Yes. I believe abuse of other kinds can be more scarring than the physical. So again, we did not have the tools. And I think I inflicted injuries as well. And he inflicted injuries as well on me and we did not know what we were doing. Mm. When you say that, is it mentally? Yes, yes absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. What were the things that were going on? Um, I was struggling with what I look like, uh, becoming a first time mom, if my husband still found me attractive, did I have any use other than just being a milk factory? I really, really struggled. I lost who I was completely because I was so submerged in family life. Um, I didn't know who I was anymore and I was a new person. So I had to learn her all over again, you know, but things got hard. He didn't know how to deal with it. Mm. Um, collectively, we made it worse. And uh, we both had ourselves mentally in very unhealthy states. I have contemplated mm -hmm. suicide. You, you can't just look at somebody and be like, they have all their stuff together. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, I will speak on, on him, but he definitely has his own demons that he faced too. So, yeah. what would lead you to the point where you would even think suicide? When I, 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 like I said, I thought there was no use for me other than just to be a milk factory. I yeah. thought if I disappear yeah. now, I would, I would, I don't, I didn't know, I wouldn't, I don't know. Possibly on the second one, yes. But I, I just felt like if I disappear right now, the only two people who would notice would be the babies. That's when I was like, this is a problem. You, you've never thought like this. You know, you, you hear about it. Oh, I would never get there. But I was like, if I disappear, no, it would take everybody like two weeks. I was like, whoa. Ding, 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 red flag. Yes, at what point did you realize that I'm going to get out of this? Um, once I think I, <laughs> I asked him for help or something. And, um, what did you ask him for? I can't remember. It was like a small thing. I can't really remember what it was, but I asked him for help or something. It was like so trivial, so little. And I came back and it was like 10 million hours later and it was not done. It was just so basic. And They always say that, that it's yeah. the smallest things. People no, for me, it was just things. like, even if we're not, you know, all the way on the same way with other things, some stuff when it comes to like other things we should be on par with. And I was like, I can't do this. I'm actually more productive by myself, please. Mm -hmm. And I think I have tried. I've given you the best of myself all these years and I have, you know, begged you for a solution but we're not ready, we're not there, so I gotta go. These people are growing, they need me. You know, I have to be present for them. So how did you, you just called a lawyer, got a divorce and... Yeah, I filed. Did he?